Assam, the land of the rising sun, the part of the earth which is touched first by the tender rays of the morning sun. A small province in northeast India, Assam is full of natural resources. Well known for its flora and fauna, Assam occupies a significant place in the map of world tourism. In 1985, far away in Paris, a wildlife lover suddenly uttered the word Kaziranga. A peculiar word then, unknown whether it was a word found in dictionary or not. But it was a special location that glittered in between 90 degrees 5 minute to 93 degrees 40 minute east longitude and 25 degrees 30 minute to 25 degrees 45 minute north latitude of the world atlas. Yes, Kaziranga provides habitat for prehistoric looking world famous Rhinoceros unicornis. The rare species of one horned rhinos, tigers, swamp deers, wild buffaloes, river dolphins, including a large number of threatened species of migratory birds. In the real sense, it is a dreamland, spread over the civil jurisdictions of Norgaon and Golaghat districts in Assam, with mighty river Brahmaputra on the north and Vardant Karbianglong hills on the south. The sites of the flutters of varied water vegetations in the deep moor, due to tender breeze blowing silently flocks of motley birds flying in semicircle over the azure sky. All these tempt easily to any nature lover of the world. 1985, this park was inscribed as the World Heritage Site by UNESCO IUCN. Like Kaziranga, with an extended area of 38 0.81 square kilometers, Obitora, situated in the Morigao district, it is a little garden of natural treasures. Remarkably, it has the highest concentration per square kilometer of great Indian one-horned rhinos in the entire world. Human beings are absorbed in some colorful dreams to prosper in the so-called material world. As a result of this, many rare wild species seem to come in the state of vanishing animals. Moreover, flood, drought, erosion of land have appeared as common natural havocs in the physical world today. The conflict between man and wild animals have been growing day by day. Though recognized as a World Heritage Site, Kaziranga has been facing some acute problems like erosion by river Brahmaputra flowing by the north boundary, threatening by the multi-wave flood in every year, encroachment of grasslands, grazing of domestic animals coming from nearby villages in reserve pastures, infection of diseases from domestic animals to the wild animals, Accidental deaths of wild animals in the National Highway No. 37 running through the park. Decreasing of grasslands due to mimosa weed. Illegal human habitat has been increasing in surroundings of National Park. Consequently, these people leave their pet animals to graze in the same reserve pastures. To know details of it, we met a few residents of that area. Aji no bossalo igola. Tapra gora koi koi yallo ipai. Sarkar palo pra ami bishari silu na kor. Tapishot tenake pozai korome dia kota koi sile. 
Though Kaziranga is recognized as a World Heritage Site, especially for rhinoceros unicornus, unfortunately, in the year 2007, 21 horned rhinos were cruelly killed by poachers. Undoubtedly, we the people of Assam should be ashamed of it. As we know, during the month of January 2008, three rhinos were killed. And above all, on 20th January 2008, some cruel poachers heinously cut off the horn from a living mother rhino after killing its little one. Secret killing of rhinoceros by poachers have been increasing day by day. What indicates the encroachment of lands nearby Kaziranga, especially the rows of huts in Burapahar and Puthari range. So it is high time to have a coordination among administration, forest department and also among the people of plains and hills for a common feeling towards the security of these wild animals. Fred M. Packard, International Parks Merit Award winner, Range Officer of Kohora, Mr. Dharanidhar Boro has said, to stop the passing, actually it needs awareness among the people also and government has tried their level best and besides that, again we need some more stuff. Invasion of weeds like water hyacinth in the water bodies, mykenia and mimosa in prime grassy areas is also a serious threat to the park and its denizens. Mimosa. In 1990, this weed was first seen at the Bagori grasslands. According to the census of 2003, out of the total area of 430 square kilometers, about 4.26 square kilometers were invaded by this weed. This fast-growing weed has been assumed to have spread from the nearby tea gardens. As this weed is thorny, it cannot be eaten by the grazing animals. Again, due to the presence of mimosin and amanopropionic acid in the leaves of this weed, its consumption leads to diseases like pneumonia. Because this weed suppresses the grasslands and grows in place of them, the grazing beasts like elephants, rhinos and buffaloes are facing acute shortage of fodder. In this context, the range officer of Baguri, Mr. Pallav Deka, has commented, My Adding to all these problems, there is another danger hanging over Kaziranga. The tea gardens situated to the south of Kaziranga are the origin of this problem. The pesticides used in the tea plants contain murate of potash and some other harmful chemicals, which mix up in the waters of the wetlands through springs and rivulets during showers of rain. The consumption of this kind of water has proven fatal to the wild animals as well as to the local people. When we met the supervisor of a tea estate, he gave us a brief description of the pesticides that were applied in the plantation. <laughs> Our logote alpha methane bully at a gems, pesticide drop as a pesticide drop to me is good. Flora and fauna have its own world, have its own natural environment. But this particular world is now polluted by some mechanical and artificial sounds. Unfortunately, the busy 37 number national highway runs through the Kaziranga National Park. Day and night, various types of vehicles pass through it, sounding loudly. Besides, floods are always considered to be a dreaded period for Kaziranga and its wildlife. But since the last decade, 
the increasing level of multi-way flood is really threatening the future of the park. Due to various reasons, mainly deforestation in upper catchments area of the Brahmaputra, the intensity of the flood is continuously on the rise. During flood, most of the animals, including rhinos, have to migrate from the park and take shelter in the adjacent high grounds in Karbiang Long Hills or wherever they may find shelter. To migrate from the park and come back, they have to cross the 37 number national highway. Many animals, especially the deer and particularly the young, the old and the infants lose their lives by drowning, poaching or being run over by vehicular traffic on the national highway. Though flood is necessary and beneficial, but floods of severe intensity which submerge the entire park for a prolonged period deprive the animals from food and shelter. Grazing of domestic animals and wild animals together is a common sight in Kaziranga. So, some diseases like food and mouth disease, hemorrhagic septicemia, black water, anthrax are transmitted from domestic to the wild animals. To talk about the diseases, we met Dr. Apurba Chakravarti, Professor and Principal Investigator from Veterinary College, Khanapara, Kohati. He said, FMD, I mean, this is available in deers, wild uh, buffaloes and goats. Anthrax, rhinoceros, The Pobitora Reserved Forest, having the highest concentration of one-horned rhinos in the world, also cannot be declared to be fully safe, just like the Kaziranga. Here too, questions have arisen regarding the conservation of wildlife and protected grasslands. Like Kaziranga, sites of cows and rhinos grazing together are common in Pobitora too. And similarly, the problem of domestic animals entering the reserve pastures can be seen in Pobitora too. Like Maimosa in Kaziranga, there is hypomia in Pobitora. This dangerous weed spreads quickly and destroys the pastures. Again, taking undue advantage of the high voltage electricity wires passing through Pobitora Reserve Forest, poachers are often heard of trafficking rhinos. In this connection, the range officer of Pobitora, Mr. Mukul Tamuli, gave his views. Eto khetot amar jito high voltage line amar sensory major guise. Eto thayno bokar na ami timuthe lagisho. Bihago halupa ami electricity bihago ami lagi thoka guise. Jito jito thirty three thousand voltage or line guise. Eto ya guise. Eto pa kuno gaur nithon kuvo nuare. Jito four forty line ase, ba two twenty line ase, gaur ka khidi ase. He line opa he mane hooking kuri plai. God electrician कोई प्लग हमारे यात्रे डिस्टेंट हुआ से ये कारण है अमी जिकनी लाइन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ऑफ़ाइड लाइन 440 बार 220 लाइन आसे ये लाइन किनी इतिमंत है अमार खुलाब हुए यहाँ पर सिल्लू भी बॉडी लगे अता लाइन आसे ले ये लाइन तो अमी सिफ्टिंग कोई बोका ने इलेक्ट्रिसिटी का मी पैसा दिसलू और क किंतु सिप्टिंग कोई डेवलप्स रो है प्रॉब्लम तो इमान सॉल्व हुआ नहीं है कारण है अमी रिक्वेस्ट कुछ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी तेरे मुख पर अमी एस्टीमेट भी सही सो जे है एरिया फ्रिंज एरिया ठीक तेरे को है लाइन के लिए इंसुलेशन कोई दियो पायले हो गया हो जाते इंसुलेशन कोई इतने नेकेट हुए थकले तापर हुकिंग कोई प्लाय गवर्नमेंट � Everything is possible if we make a noble effort. By the efforts of experts or intelligent people, today we can witness smiling and dancing green vegetations 
even in the remote deserts. For the safety of the world, mankind must be the protector of forests. Like Chipku revolution, we the people of Assam must build a mass awareness for the conservation of forest and wildlife. The masses should be cordially conscious enough to save the world famous one horn rhinos along with the world heritage site Kaziranga. Every citizen of our motherland has to take responsibility on his old shoulders to preserve our natural treasures. Otherwise, it would be meaningless to be proud of Assam as the land of rising sun. We cannot leave world treasure Rhinoceros unicornis to be vanished from the face of the earth. Tuning to our appeal, renowned personalities of the state from various fields of work have raised up their hands to work shoulder to shoulder to save this little heaven in a sense. <laughs> Tomorrow our survival will be a problem and then we won't be able to identify ourselves that we live on the beautiful earth. Innocent animals by killing, innocent animals by the poachers. It's a very inhuman thing has been done and then I request the government also to look after it seriously. They must stop killing rhino, not only rhino, tiger and other animals also, so that we can live together with harmony and peace in this beautiful art which has been created by God. <laughs> সেখানে <laughs>